Experiencing touchscreen problems on your Steam Deck? You're not alone. As of August 2025, touchscreen issues are commonly reported, but often fixable through software solutions. First, identify your specific problem. Common issues include complete touch unresponsiveness, partial functionality with dead zones, ghost touches creating phantom inputs, or calibration issues where touches don't align properly. Now, let's walk through the most effective software fixes, starting with a touch driver reset. The first fix is a touch driver reset. Access desktop mode, open the terminal called console, and run these three commands in sequence. This restarts the touch input system and reloads the touchscreen drivers. If the driver reset doesn't work, the next step is ensuring your system is fully updated. Navigate to Settings, then System, then Software Updates. Install all available updates and restart your device completely. SteamOS updates often include improved touchscreen drivers and bug fixes. Another effective fix is resetting the touch calibration settings. In desktop mode, go to System Settings, then Input Devices, then touchscreen. Reset the calibration to defaults and perform a manual calibration if needed. This fixes alignment issues between touch input and screen response. For persistent issues, try a Steam client reset while keeping your games. Hold the power button and volume down button simultaneously for 10 seconds. When the menu appears, select Reset to Factory Settings. Don't worry, this keeps all your games while resetting system configurations. According to repair experts at iFixit, these software-based solutions have proven highly effective. According to iFixit's 2025 analysis, software fixes have a 70 to 75% success rate. Driver resets are most effective at 45%, followed by system resets at 35%, and calibration resets at 25%. These software solutions resolve the majority of touchscreen issues without requiring hardware replacement making them the first recommended troubleshooting steps for any Steam Deck owner experiencing touch problems. When software fixes don't resolve touchscreen issues, hardware factors may be the culprit. Physical inspection is the first step in advanced troubleshooting. Examine your Steam Deck screen carefully for any physical damage, cracks, or debris. Even small cracks can disrupt the capacitive touch layer and cause unresponsive areas. Overheating can cause touchscreen malfunctions. If your Steam Deck feels hot after extended gaming sessions, allow it to cool down completely before testing the touchscreen again. For persistent issues, perform a complete shutdown by holding the power button for 12 seconds or more. Wait 30 seconds, then restart. This resets all hardware controllers, including the touch system. Prevention is key to avoiding future touchscreen problems. Keep your SteamOS updated, as Valve regularly releases firmware improvements that enhance touchscreen reliability. Watch for early warning signs that indicate developing touchscreen problems. Delayed touch response, occasional unresponsive areas, or increased sensitivity requirements often precede complete failure. Certain Steam Deck units from a specific manufacturing batch have higher touchscreen failure rates. If your serial number starts with FB1C, you may be affected by this known issue from Q2 2024. If hardware replacement is necessary, Valve's RMA process typically takes 7 to 14 business days. Hardware replacement resolves touchscreen issues in 95% of cases, making it highly effective for persistent problems. Recent firmware updates have significantly improved touchscreen reliability, reducing failure rates to under 2% in new units. Following proper prevention practices and recognizing early warning signs can help maintain your Steam Deck's touchscreen functionality for years to come.